G'day folks, it's Quentin here. Uh, a little while ago, before I got sick and before I had to be rushed off to hospital, I did an interview with someone that has recently been inspiring me. Uh, this woman is a YouTuber, she's a social media guru, uh, she's from Vancouver, Canada, where she is uh, lighting up the nation by giving seminars and talks about best practices for various different social media apps, various um, ways of branding businesses, branding individuals, uh, and I thought that she would be a wonderful person to talk to to try and inspire others as well as the way she's inspired me. Her name is Sunny Linduzzi and she is a wonderful person and I recently caught up with her via Skype uh, to interview her. Uh, but as I said, I got sick and it all went to crap. But here is the interview. I hope you enjoy it. If you like Sunny, please follow her on her social media stuff. I will put a just uh, links to who she is below, uh, as well as um, go to her website at sunnylenaduzzi.com. All right, please enjoy this new episode of Questions with Quentin. Ladies and gentlemen, Sunny Lenaduzzi. How are you? I'm so, I mean, after that intro, I'm so great. That was so kind. That was so lovely. And for you to say that I'm inspiring is pretty crazy because you're definitely an inspiration to me. So thank you. Well, uh, the, the reason why, I, I don't know how this happened, but you know how when you're on your Apple TV and you go to the YouTube app and there's this home section and it mm -hmm. throws up videos that are recommended to you. Yeah. And your video, um, how to get more views on YouTube, was, mm -hmm. came up. And I watched it. Magic. And there were just so many things that you suggested that I was absolutely not doing. And <laughs> so I did it. And automatically, my views started going up. My watch time started going up. My subscribers started going up. And I'm thinking, damn. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> damn. Well, actually, I was kind of like, damn, girl. <laughs> well, thank you. And I was like, I've got to meet this person. Because I just yeah. didn't stop at Here one video. Are. I immediately subscribed. I think I replied to one of your videos. And I was like, we got to meet. we got to do an interview. And here you are. Here I am, and I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much. That's all right. I, first of all, I wanted to, to sort of say that I've been an early adopter of technology just like you. You know, I joined mm -hmm. YouTube in 2007 but didn't really take it seriously until a few years ago. I joined Facebook in 2009, Twitter 2009. Um, you know, I'm on Beam, I'm on everything. Yeah. Um, I saw I'm, you interviewed Casey Neistat. He's one of my, like, YouTube mega idols. So I know, I know, to mine too, <laughs> which is why I had to interview him. You know, I, I, I try to interview people that are, that are inspiring. And I just want to know, like, tell me, tell the world a little bit more about yourself because I've seen you videos, but I know you're a 20-something young woman from Vancouver. Mm -hmm. um, you uh, have social media background. You've got social media clients. But you're a bit of a sneaky sneaky. We don't know... I'm that, a sneaky sneaky? What? We don't know that much about you. Like, tell us about <laughs> yourself. Um, well, I, I live in Vancouver, British Columbia, and if you've never been to Vancouver, it's a very lovely place to live. I truly believe it's one of the most beautiful places in the world, and I've had a really amazing year of being able to travel from Thailand to Italy uh, and everywhere in between, so I can say that with confidence now, but um, yeah, I, I'm 
I'm in Vancouver. I have a social media uh, consultancy. I focus on video marketing. Um, but outside of my work life, which I love, and I feel very lucky that I love what I do, um, and I've been able to merge my passions of communication, broadcasting, education, and social media into one kind of dream, very weird but wonderful career. Um, I love to dance. Uh, I was a dancer growing up, and so um, I still take dance classes, particularly Beyonce-themed dance classes. Uh, I love Beyonce <laughs> as well. And if yeah, you we'll follow get, me we'll on get social media, we'll get into that. If you follow me on social media, you'll notice that how much I love her. Um, and uh, I love green tea. Yep. And I love people. I love people. I love connecting with people. I love helping people. And my whole journey on YouTube really started completely on a whim. And it started because I just genuinely wanted to help people understand how to use social media and online platforms um, for themselves and for their businesses and to create a bigger impact. Not a lot of people want to make their career take the elevator back down and helping others. And I want to know, where did that passion for helping others, where did that passion for technology and community come from? Did it come from your parents? Did it come from mm -hmm. siblings? Did it come from education? Where did that passion in your heart come from? That's a really great question. Um, I think I, I was born to be somebody who broadcasts messages and I've always loved entertainment and I've always loved um, making people smile. I don't think I'm the funniest person in the world, but I think I can make people smile and I try to be a force of positivity. And I do think that that comes from when I was a kid. My kindergarten teacher called me a social butterfly and I do think that I am a social butterfly and I just love people. But my, my dad, um, both my parents really inspired me. My brother is a really incredible human being too. And they're all just really generous um, people, but my dad made a career out of soccer um, in Canada. He played in England, uh, left high school when he was 14 years old and went and played professionally in England and then came back to Vancouver and um, has been with the Whitecaps, which is the MLS team here for 40 years. And I've seen him his whole career just give back and create opportunities and create a legacy for um for soccer in Canada. And he's a huge inspiration to me. And one of my first, um, mentors and bosses actually, in one of my only full-time jobs that I've ever had, because I truly feel claustrophobic in full-time jobs, um, and working for other people. Uh, my, <laughs> yeah. Um, when I was really young, I think it was 2020, 21 or 22. Um, my boss sat me down and in one conversation really changed my whole trajectory of life. And he, um, it was a social, um, social entrepreneurship incubator that I was working for. So every company that we worked with, um, had some sort of societal impact and value. And so that taught me a lot in a very early and, and, um, you know, imperative part of my career. And, um, my boss said to me, you know, where do you see, where do you see your lifestyle being in, in 10 years from now? Like, what do you vision, envision your life to be and it, what kind of impact you want to make? And then also, what do you want your legacy to be? And I had never really thought about that before. And so those two things are pillars of everything I do. Everything I do, I want it to have a long-term impact and I want it to um, stand the test of time. And I want to create a legacy where if I were to die tomorrow, people would say, she made me smile. She was positive. She was a force of just joy, and, and um, she helped me in some way, shape, or form. That's if if someone could say that about me, I can die happy. I haven't said this publicly yet, but I've found the YouTube community. It's a very close knit community, but it's a very clicky community. And I've yes. already, and yeah. I've found that YouTube has changed very much in the last twelve months. Mm -hmm. And that no longer it, you're you're looking at YouTubers who are vlogging for the fun of vlogging. You're looking at yeah. at YouTubers who are vlogging because they feel they have to, because they have to sell a book, they have to sell a movie, they have to sell a product, a brand. And I'm starting to feel as though a lot of these 
bloggers and, and YouTubers are starting to feel a little bit disingenuous. Right. What's your opinion on 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 the success of YouTube, the success of the YouTubers and how the community is very much changing very quickly? It is changing really quickly and I think it's really interesting and I I mean I think it's it's just like every other social media platform. It has a business case and you can also use it for your own personal reasons. And if you just want to do it for the fun of it um, and vlog for the fun of it, I think that's wonderful. And for me, it's definitely is about it. Um, I didn't start it with that agenda, but I've come to realize that it's had a massive impact on my uh, um, awareness and on generating clients and all those kinds of things. So I can't knock the hustle. Anybody who's using it for promotional reasons, I think is great, but I think my one pillar of every piece of content that I put out uh, on any social platform is what is the audience getting out of this? What is my community getting out of this? How is it going to help them? How is it going to affect them? So I think if whether you're selling a product or not or whether you're trying to promote something or not, there should always be some kind of value for the people that you're making exactly. it for. Um, and so whether that's educational, in, informational, um, entertainment, inspirational – one of those things should be rolled into the kind of content that you're creating. To me, everything I do has a message. For me, yeah. it's a message of hope. It's a message of um, understanding. It's a message of how to better your life. Um, mm -hmm. And I would hope that a lot of other YouTubers are doing that as well, but I'm just seeing a case where it's a little bit more uh, self-actualizing than that. Yeah, I think there's a really interesting thing happening in social media right now where, um, and I think this would be true of really any platform where you're allowed to put yourself out there, is that there's going to be people who are using it to drive their ego, and there's going to be people that are going to be using it to try and serve others. And I think the people who are successful in the long term are the people that focus on serving others in some way, shape, or form. Now, when you're influencing companies to use social media um do you talk about that message and how they want to portray themselves i do and i think that that i think everything in my life has happened for a reason i believe that's true of most people um and i think there's a lot of serendipity in the things that have happened in my life and i think my first job working with a lot of companies that um gave back and had societal impact ingrained in them and that being a mandate of what we what we worked on and who we worked with um, really affected me because now I always think about that triple bottom line. I always think about purpose. And so any company that I work with or a personal brand that I'm working with, I'm like, okay, before we even talk about the tactical stuff, before we even talk about platforms that you want to be on, What's the impact that you want to make? What's your ultimate objective? What's the vision for your long-term legacy in your business? And then we work backwards from there. So I always mention that first. And I always say, this is not about you. I have this whole theory I call it we versus them. And I was just talking about this recently in one of my presentations. And um, the example was, I said, does anybody know what kind of content they want to put out? there and a bunch of business owners and one of them said yeah we want to talk about our new lip balms and it was an orthodontic clinic and I said okay well why and they said well it's the best lip balm out there and it's different than every, every, other, every other lip balm blah 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 and I said okay so why does that matter to your customer and it doesn't at the end of the day so I was like instead of talking about the features of the lip balm talk about how it's going to affect those people's lives and this is not like a monumental case study but every business can use this where you can take that fact that, yes, you have something to sell, but talk about it in a way that's going to impact lives. So you could talk about how it's going to give you the most kissable lips for summer or something like that and do a top five list of how it's going to make your lips smooth and protected and keep you protected from the sunshine. Um, so have some sort of reason why it's affecting your customers, and that's, that's how you create good content that people actually care about. Yeah. I've seen you use Snapchat a lot. Yes, I love it. Uh, I now. Know you love Snapchat. You like you like you like the female DJ Khaled. <laughs> That's the highest compliment I've gotten all week. <laughs> I mean, damn. I damn. I mean, I wouldn't totally agree with that. He'd probably be offended by that com comparison. But well, you're I better looking it. than DJ Khaled. I gotta put, uh, <laughs> put that out there. 
<laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not hitting on you. Um, <laughs> uh, moving right along. Where do you see yourself and your community evolving to? In say, and I won't say five years' time because in technology, five years' time yeah. is so ancient. But where yeah. would you like to see you and your community evolve in, say, 12 months' time? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I just really just want to see it continue to grow. I want to make it a really honest space where people are genuinely going after goals that are going to have an impact um, and are meaningful. And I really want it to be where a place where I'm extremely transparent, which I think I have been um, about the process of building a business. And um, I think there's a lot of emphasis on brand and I'm all for a really great brand, but um, I really want to share with people the ins and outs of creating a successful online business and the ins and outs of what my business looks like. Cause I think there's a lot of mystery around how this actually works. And um, yeah, I just want to make it an honest, positive community to be thriving in a place where everybody's supporting each other. That's my, my vision for it. Okay. I'm going to give you quick fire questions before we wrap up. Are you okay. ready? I am so ready. I love rapid fire. So go ahead. Okay. Who do you watch on YouTube the most? Casey Neistat. Okay. Uh, what is one of your biggest pet peeves in social media? Dishonesty. Nice. Um, top three go-to apps on your iPhone. Snap, Snapchat, IFTTT, and Mail. Here's where Sunny Lindaguzzi does the pimp out to herself. Oh, where can, all right. Where can we find all about Sunny Lindaguzzi? Because I don't want to do this. I want you to do it. Pimp yourself out to the audience and go. Okay, this is totally not my strong suit, but my website has everything that you need. It is sunnyleonarduzzi.com, and then all of the social media marketing branding tutorials are on YouTube as well as on my blog on my website. So youtube.com slash sunnyleonarduzzi, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, everywhere else it's sunnyleonarduzzi too, um, but the main hub is my website. Folks, I can guarantee you that you will have your mind literally blown apart by what this woman can teach you. Um, I've learned a bucket load of things from Sunny and what she's been able to inspire me to do because I've upped my game as far as YouTube goes and I feel as though I'm better communicator, better YouTuber for that. And I thank you, Sunny. Thank you. And if if there's an, ever a testimonial that says that your stuff works, then this is it. Thank you. Um, and I, like I said, I want to keep our friendship going and I want people to see the success at, from me, what, your knowledge provides Um, because I think that you're a great person. You've inspired me. You inspire others. And I just want to thank you for that. Well, thank you for inspiring me and thank you for the very kind words. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Q man. This has been Sonny Lenarduzzi. We are going to say, follow me, follow her. All of the links And descriptions will be below in the descriptions page. I will throw a subscribe link up to Sunny on one side of the uh, screen and a throw up subscribe link to me on the other side of the screen. And you can just pick who you want or just follow us both because we're awesome. Um, So, Sunny, thank you for joining me. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, say goodbye to the fans. 
Bye, fans. <laughs> All right, Q-Man out.